I was thinking to myself, I have been telling you all about what has been happening to me while I am getting tested. And I want us all to pass the tests that come our way. Why not? This is time to advance in God. Why not? So I was thinking, why not tell you all some things that have been happening to me and how I have been feeling about it. Why not? So let me use an example first. Let's say I come to your home or <laughs> I come to you and I take your hand and I continue to tap your hand or slap your hand. Let's say that I do this for a whole hour. <laughs> now, if I was to do that for a whole hour, it is going to hurt. Even if I am not hitting it that hard, it is going to hurt. <laughs> Your hand is, may even bruise. It may even turn red. After that hour, I don't have to hit it as hard, but it is still going to feel pain. Your hand is still going to feel pain, even if I don't tap it as hard. Now, keep that example in your mind. Keep it there because this is really going to make sense. So I was talking to this person and this person was pointing out something that I was doing wrong. And this person is right. It wasn't a big deal, but this person is right. And while this person was telling me what I was doing wrong, my first instinct was to get upset, to get offended. And after like a few seconds of that feeling trying to come up, I started to think to myself, wait a minute, why am I getting offended for? This person did not say anything mean to me. <clears throat> this person did not say anything rude to me. So why am I being offended? <laughs> After being hit so many times, by issues and problems and stuff like that. So when someone come to you and they are not telling you anything that you are doing good, they are not praising you after being hit so much. If someone comes to you and it sounds somewhat negative toward you, what is going to happen? You are going to feel pain, even if that person did not tap you hard. Even if it was something like this. But because this spot right here is so sensitive toward pain, you are going to feel pain. What am I trying to say? You have to monitor your thoughts, your feelings, and your behavior because it is so easy to slip back into sin. Some people play off of that and use that to shout, scream, or make a fuss toward that person, even if that person was not trying to offend you, even if that person was not trying to hurt you. That person was not the person that I was speaking to was not trying to be mean to me, 
was not trying to be rude to me. That spot is sensitive because of the bad things that have been coming to me. Sometimes people punish others not because of what they have done. It is because of what those hurt people have been through. So sometimes your enemy is not your enemy. Your main enemies are the ones that hurt you. So it is not that everyone is trying to hurt you. You are just hurt because of what happened to you. That spot on your hand is still sore. So any type of pain or tap, you are going to feel pain. I pray that makes sense there. For instance, two or three months ago, there was a time where there was a person that I would read and pray with every day. And it got to the point where I could not read and pray with this person every day. And I was talking to this person uh, two months ago, I believe. And she was telling me some things that she never told me before. And I was really shocked. She was telling me the reason why she would act in a certain way. For instance, she told me that she would do certain things or get angry really fast or believe that someone was insulting her even when they weren't, was not. She told me that it is because some people back in her past hurt her. So now that spot on her hand, per se, is sore. So since she has been hurt so much, if someone comes to her in a somewhat negative way, as in, hey, you are doing this wrong and you have to change this, even if it is not bad. But if someone comes to her pretty much telling her what she needs to change or why is she acting like this, she takes it in the same way as how those other people were being rude to her and mean to her, even if you are not coming to her in that type of way. So if you are not praising her or saying that she is doing a good job, if you are just saying that, hey, you need to stop doing this, she takes that as if you are putting her down or something like that. I am telling you, she doesn't have a problem with you when you are telling her that, that she needs to change this and that. What is happening, she is punishing you for what some mean people have done to her back in the past. Have you ever came to a person or talked with a person and they get really mad at you and you are wondering what is going on? Like, what did I say to get you that angry? Like, what did I do to warrant a response like that from you? What is going on? Many of the time, it is not you. It is not you. It is what they are going through. For instance, there is this person, not every time, but sometimes this person gets, <laughs> my Lord. And I'm thinking like, what is going on? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, the issue is this, per se, 
but they are talking about something else and getting mad at you. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is going on? I am confused. <laughs> What is your point, Kevin? <laughs> My mind is on God. If it was so easy for a demon to quickly get into my mind and try to get me offended over some petty stuff, the issue was not even an issue. It was something really small. But if a demon can somewhat change my thoughts and try to get me offended about something that is not worth even a second thought, if a demon can do that to me, those demons can do it to you as well. We have to be on watch always. As I was stating to you, while I am being tested by God, I am going to tell you what is happening to me. And I pray that God don't put more things on me so I can teach it. Please don't do it, God. <laughs> don't do it. Please, 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 please. But anyways, it was trying to get me offended over something that isn't worth two thoughts not even for a second when bad things come to you you have to be extra careful extra careful of what is happening to you I mean you have to be extra careful of what you are thinking about the way that you are feeling and the way that you are behaving. I am trying to tell you. So use my pain to advance higher in God. Use my pain <laughs> to advance higher in God. Some people don't ever learn this. They continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. When demons tell them to get offended, Guess what? They get offended. When demons tell them to get angry, guess what? They get angry. You are being tested. Stop failing your test. I know that you may not hear this from other teachers or other people who claim to be Christian because some people don't advance that high in God. And I am not saying that I am on this elite level in God. No, there are people so much high in level than I. So much higher. People who pray for hours a day and read their Bible so much and <laughs> me, I don't do as much as they. So <laughs> I am far from the level that these other people are on but I am just telling you what I am going through so you can learn from it and use my experiences and advance much higher than I in God because I was never taught this I had to learn this from making mistake <laughs> after mistake after mistake over and over and over again and constant prayer and everything like that. I am telling you what to do <laughs> without going through all the mess that I had to go through to learn this. So much pain and suffering. My Lord, you don't have to go through what I went through. Use what I know and advance higher than me which I don't know what level I am on anyway, but you can advance higher than I. I pray that this makes sense. Monitor your feelings. Don't be so quick to be offended. Monitor your feelings. 
like I said, what happened to me was so tiny. But still, a demon was trying to provoke me to get angry and perhaps argue with that person. But no. No. That is not going to happen. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.